Sunday CC segment. We're going to be talking about the new upgrades coming, the new Bitcoin improvement protocol coming to the Bitcoin protocol. <laughs> I guess a protocol too many times there. Uh, but uh, several new proposals are, of course, vying for their addition to the Bitcoin core code, uh, to the Bitcoin core protocol. And 2020 seems to be the year that Bitcoin will be seeing its biggest upgrade since we activated SegWit back in 2017. Now, according to the developers of the new Bitcoin improvement protocol, Taproot, which is a long anticipated technological change to Bitcoin, is, quote, nearly ready, end quote. And this comes nearly two years after the Taproot concept was first introduced. It was initially submitted by Bitcoin core developer Greg Maxwell in January of 2018. And what Taproot aims to do is to boost the privacy ability of Bitcoin transactions by making all transactions, no matter how complicated, appear the same when observed on the blockchain. Right? Now, Taproot, <coughs> uh, Taproot supporters are, of course, going to consider it a much needed upgrade to the current Bitcoin network as it will provide serious benefits to scaling, fungibility, and innovation of scripting on Bitcoin clients. Now, along with Taproot, Schnorr signatures are expected to be bundled as a related upgrade, which of course aim to enable signature aggregation and make of the implementation of Taproot possible. We need Schnorr signatures to make Taproot possible because uh, Taproot is going to be combining multiple private key signatures into one Schnorr signature. So for example, uh, let's take a multi-sig example. Let's say that you have a cold storage wallet, you have a trusted third-party private key, and you have a hot wallet, right? So you have three private keys that need to sign to approve a message currently on the Bitcoin, uh, currently on the Bitcoin network or a multi-sig transaction like that. You would, you would be able to see the signature from each private key, but with the implementation of Schnorr signatures and Taproot, uh, it would become private. So you would only see one aggregated Schnorr signature without being able to see the signature from each individual private key. Uh, thus not, uh, thus not allowing current, the, not, thus not allowing, uh, blockchain, uh, blockchain analysis or chain analysis to actually identify who was involved potentially in this transaction, at least not to the degree that you currently can. So this is a huge boost for privacy. This is a huge step forward for Bitcoin. This is a great implementation. Uh, we've wanted Schnorr signatures for a long time. They really allow us to do a whole lot. And Taproot improves the privacy of the network uh, with almost no discernible downside. Uh, this is just great. This is just absolutely the development, the steps forward that we want. Obviously, UASF, conquered over the big blocks, and we were able to implement the soft fork upgrade, SegWit, so there was backwards compatibility. And here we go again, after a couple of years of thought and development and careful uh, careful craftsmanship, two years later, we have the next soft fork upgrade to the Bitcoin network. This will be backwards compatible. There is no hardware, there is no hard fork that can jeopardize the vulnerability of the network like the big blockers wanted to do back in 2017. This preserves the UTXO set. This preserves the security of the network. This improves scaling. And this is just a huge, this is just a great step forward. This is a great step forward, especially coming into an era where some of the biggest criticism against Bitcoin is now privacy. And we can see that, that what we're working on in the back end is improving all of the features to make Bitcoin as robust as possible. So Bitcoin core development continues to push ahead. Developers continue to implement Again, some of the most brilliant innovations in the space are being done on Bitcoin, and for good reason. Now, in May 2019, Bitcoin developer Peter Will uh, proposed the combination upgrade of Taproot and Schnorr to be deployed in the form of a soft fork. Uh, and as of now, it is moving into the feedback phase. Uh, as developers recommend and review possible changes to the draft, with information on that expected later this year, excuse me, with implementation of the soft fork expected later this year. <clears throat> now, following the final scheduled meeting of the Taproot Review Group, which occurred on December 17th, 2019, Peter Will published an update revealing that developers were finishing addressing all of the comments from the review and that the Taproot proposal was nearly ready. Now, according to Square Crypto, product manager Steve Lee, the proposal is predicted to save on the current network 30 to 75 percent of fee usage as well as accelerate nodes abilities to validate blocks by up to 2.5 times so blocks are going to be able to be validated by nodes 2.5 times faster so syncing blockchains will get two the syncing the blockchain uh, data will be 2.5 times faster 
in addition to boosting privacy, in addition to basically making the Lightning Network much, much more robust, making the Bitcoin Network much, much more robust. Now, these upgrades are highly anticipated and is attracting a great deal of interest and excitement from the entire crypto ecosystem. The Block Crypto published recent survey data indicating that among industry experts, Taproot and Schnorr are high on the list of desired technological developments for Bitcoin. Now, to understand this a little bit more, we have to understand that at the heart of Bitcoin is public key cryptography used to validate transactions. Now, the current signature algorithm known as elliptic curve digital signature encryption <clears throat> has several weaknesses when it comes to privacy and fungibility. Now, the Schnorr signature technology is a much newer design, which was patented by Klaus Schnorr in 1991, but had its patent expire in 2008. It wasn't until SegWit adoption fixed transaction malleability on the Bitcoin network in 2017 that the implementation of Schnorr signatures became a truly viable upgrade. We needed SegWit so that we could bring in Schnorr signatures. We need Schnorr signatures so that we can implement Taproot, right? And it's just a great, beautiful linking of one upgrade to the next to the next, done safely, done via soft forks, not hard forks, which jeopardize the security of the network and centralize mining. <clears throat> now, the Taproot plus Schnorr signature soft fork will be an elegant fix to existing current issues existing in Bitcoin as it effectively hides specific payment types from outsiders monitoring blockchain data. Now, Steve Lee gave an example, <clears throat> which I gave earlier, of about of a two of three multi-signature uh, multi-signature <clears throat> of a multi-signature transaction on the network, uh, current, uh, how they currently function on the Bitcoin network, and how Taproot changes this aspect of signing transactions. Let's see if we can find the example here. Uh, I guess there's not a good visual here. There's not a good visual here. But again, uh, if you can just imagine, if you can imagine a situation where suppose there's an exchange that is featuring a hot key, there is a trusted third party key, and a cold wallet emergency backup fund, or excuse me, a, a cold wallet emergency backup key, uh, conventionally participants would need to broadcast to the Bitcoin network all three keys, as well as the two signatures to complete the transaction. With the proposed Schnorr upgrade, however, these keys would be aggregated into a single Schnorr signature, which would then go on to validate a taproot output uh, that itself represents all of the complex functions involved. So to an outside observer, you would only be able to see a single output instead of multiples, which obfuscates the two keys that were involved in validating the transactions, significantly improving privacy on the Bitcoin blockchain. This also saves on transaction size, this saves on fees, and of course, as stated, significantly improves privacy. <clears throat> so, for example, he says, quote, you can have a Lightning Channel open or closed, a simple payment between two people, or a very sophisticated smart contract, and all of a sudden, they immediately become indistinguishable from one another by utilizing Schnorr signatures and spending Bitcoin utilizing Taproot. Now, so therefore, Taproot delivers the prospect of a major innovation, excuse me, Taproot also offers a major innovation in scripting on Bitcoin by allowing for complicated arrangements of signatures and keys, as well as eliminating currently existing limitations for how many scripts can be used to spend coins. Now, this opens the door to a lot of creative new applications to operate on the Lightning Network in particular. So these benefits are pretty clear and overwhelming, and there's not to my knowledge, any known controversy or, or concern or downside associated with these upgrades to the network. Uh, Bitcoin core developer Jimmy Song voiced similar optimism, and he predicted that Taproot will not only save fees and block space, uh, but also go on to enable new features and generate more interest to develop on top of Bitcoin. Uh, he says, quote, there will no longer be any penalties in terms of fees for utilizing multi-signature uh, transactions, and that should lead the industry toward utilizing best practices for exchanges, for custodians. Uh, Song told the block, uh, that last bit was my sick. Uh, we quote, we expect that this will create more interest in lightning in general, as the bleeding edge of Bitcoin will be a little less bloody. Finally, we expect Taproot to be incorporated by more wallets and more interesting features built for those who are securing their Bitcoin. Now, uh, Peter Will's draft of the Taproot plus Schnorr upgrade has not yet been formalized in the form of a Bitcoin improvement protocol, what we call a BIP, uh, which is a formal proposal to implement an update on the network. 
Uh, but Will has stated that the that this is the next step toward bringing this uh, toward bringing this upgrade to the Bitcoin network. So once in BIP form, once it's formalized as a paper, uh, Will says he will open a pull request to Bitcoin Core with the proposed consensus rule changes, which will likely bring in another round of reviews uh, for for Taproot's implementation by core developers. Uh, if all goes well and it's clear that Taproot, as proposed, is what the ecosystem is willing to adopt, it will be merged. It will be merged into the Git. And discussion will start about how to actually activate it on the network, uh, Peter Will said. If that too goes well, a release with the activation will be published. And if the conditions to activate it are met, it'll be live on the network. It'll be live on the network. So, you know, a lot of people, uh, I guess one one thing that I think that um, alternative coin. Uh, so I think that one common complaint about Bitcoin is that it develops slowly. Uh, keep in mind that we're securing a lot of money on this chain. And there's a reason that development moves slowly. It's not that developers are moving slowly. It's that Bitcoin was designed from the ground up and has been safeguarded over the years as something that needs to be implemented on when it's ready. We don't just throw new ideas onto Bitcoin willy-nilly. We fully test these ideas out. We have one of the best development teams uh, in the world. And proposals are reviewed, re-reviewed, signed in triplicate, and introduced to the system. So this is it's it's a good way to ensure security, and this is just the next step forward for Bitcoin to improve privacy and open up the ability to do a lot of new things. So absolutely excited for Bitcoin development in the year 2020 and over the next decade. There are a lot of things that that developers have wanted to introduce into Bitcoin, uh, and and the, the the groundwork for it has been laid with Segwit, uh, Schnorr, and Taproot is the next step. And what comes next? I mean, I can only imagine. You know, a lot of um, a lot of selling points for a lot of alternative coins. Uh, point to things that Bitcoin can't do. Um, but I don't think that anybody talks about things that other altcoins can't do that Bitcoin can, which is be as robust and secure as possible. And look at what they've already developed again on the liquid sidechain. Look at what they're already doing uh, with with layer two, with, uh, with the Lightning Network. So all of this functionality, a lot of this functionality is coming to Bitcoin. I think that building on top of Bitcoin is going to be one of the biggest, biggest things to do over the next decade. And I think that we're going to see a lot of uh, even more development brain power uh, move toward that, especially with the ability to do advanced uh, scripting via Taproot. So very excited about this, very supportive of this. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the section down below. What are your opinions and thoughts on this? Do you think this is good? Do you have anything negative to say about this? Totally fine if you do. I want to hear your opinions. I want to generate a conversation about the next step forward for Bitcoin.